I'd like to talk a little bit about decentralization today and how we can improve the decentralization of the crypto space using Minima. There's a lot of really awesome smart contract based applications out there, particularly on like the Ethereum blockchain and other EVM layer two blockchains. But one of the caveats with using this decentralized infrastructure is that you often have to connect to a front end website to talk with these smart contracts. And those front end websites are typically centralized on some centralized server. And you're putting a lot of trust when you connect to those uh, websites in the organization that is hosting it. With Minima, using the Minidap system and the Mini Hub, we can actually get rid of that centralized aspect of the uh, smart contract ecosystem that we're using, either when we're interacting with Minima blockchain applications, but indeed any blockchain applications, whether it be on Ethereum, Polygon, any EVM chain, Cardano, Solana, anything you like. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you can use the Minidap system and the Mini Hub, not only to uh, create really interesting Minima blockchain applications, which I encourage you to do, but also any decentralized application, if you prefer Ethereum-based blockchains or any other blockchain that you would like. So the first thing you want to do uh, when you're implementing a mini dApp and you want to connect to a website like Uniswap or something like that in a fully decentralized way is you need to install the Minima blockchain. And here is the GitHub repo for Minima. And so the way that you would do that is you would open a terminal of your choice. Doesn't really matter what terminal you would like. Um, and then you type git clone github.com minima.global slash minima. And I'm going to leave in the description a link to all the commands you'll need. Now I've already got this uh, on my machine and so I'm not going to run it again but you're gonna to have to wait a couple of minutes for that to download and once it's download, downloaded you're gonna be ready to run the Minima blockchain as a node and then you can access the Minidapp system and start using all of the existing Minidapps or creating your own Minidapp which is what we're gonna do in this tutorial. So now that you've done that the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is actually run the Minima blockchain and in this tutorial I'm just gonna show you um, me building a test node but if you wanted to do this in production, you would just get rid of a couple of the arguments in this command. And I'll leave a link to the documentation as well. So it, you wouldn't um, have the test flag or the Genesis flag. And then after you've done that, all you have to do is run the uh, command and the minimum blockchain will start spinning up and uh, being ready to be used. The next thing you need to do once you're running a Minima node is you need to type MDS and that basically starts the mini hub and mini dApp system so that you can then interact with the Minima blockchain and f use any website that you have access to the code in a decentralized way. And so because applications like Uniswap are fully open source, we can take the Uniswap front end code, run it as a mini dApp and never have to interact with any centralized servers whatsoever. And so the next step now is we want to get the password that we were given when we typed MDS and we want to go to the Minidap hub here. And basically all you have to do is go to your local host with 903 as the port and it will give you a warning because it doesn't use HTTPS but that's not a problem at all because this is your local machine. And you basically just want to paste in the password that you were given right here and then click the login button. Okay, so now we are actually in the mini hub, mini dApp system, and we can import a front end technology and be able to interact with this in a fully decentralized way. We can connect to any of the um, infrastructure underneath that system without having to connect to someone else's centralized server. And in this particular example, I'm gonna be using Uniswap's front end. And so we have Uniswap's front end just here. And what I've done is I've gone and built the Uniswap front end by running yarn start and then yarn and that has built us a, um, a build folder which we can then zip up and add into our mini dap system and then we can actually use uniswap in a fully decentralized way using our own instance of the front end so the next step is to find um, basically where you have your uniswap front end that you have uh, downloaded from github or it could be any front end that you want or it could be your own custom implementation of a new smart contract technology and what we're going to do here is we're going to add a dapp.conf file so that's dapp.conf file and we're just going to give our mini dapp a name i'm going to call it the uniswap front end and it's going to just be version 1.0 and the description is a front end for interacting with the uniswap v3 protocol and now that we've done that, 
we just want to essentially get all of this um, information here, right click it, and we want to zip it into a .zip file. You can use the inbuilt Windows zipping functionality, you could use WinZip, you could use 7-zip. As long as it's a .zip file, it should work just fine. So now we have the built front end for Uniswap in a zipped folder. And all we need to do now is actually add this into the Minidep system and install it. And what we're doing now is we're using our decentralized infrastructure that we've built from Minima to host this system so that we can um, connect to Uniswap or anyone that has our IP address and port can also connect as well if we give them permissions. So now if I go to my main menu, you can see we have a Minidep here, which is the Uniswap front end. And if I click that, we have access to the Uniswap front end and I can connect, I can um, swap tokens. I can do anything here that a typical user would do as they're interacting with the Uniswap protocol. And so that's all there is to it. And this is a really, really powerful tool. This is obviously a very simple um, example of the power of the Minidep system. But essentially what we've done here is we've built an innovative new technology that gets rid of any centralized aspect to interacting with decentralized applications. One of the problems in the space at the moment is even though all of the Uniswap smart contracts, for example, are fully decentralized, often people are using a centralized solution to interact with those contracts. And now with this Minidap system, we no longer have to trustfully uh, trust the Uniswap team or any other team that is showing us a front end and forcing us to have to connect through their centralized system to interact in a decentralized way with the blockchain. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment and I'd be happy to answer them. I hope this video was insightful and useful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe on the Minima channel if you'd like to see more content. I'll see you in the next video.